Welcome back to Karenko's Corner. It's part three, third school. Prismari Performance, a.k.a. Samuel L. Jackson, the Thunder Conductor slash Collector. He may collect and conduct, we're not sure. This is Prismari, we know that's is it, that's red and blue, but I really like the art on this. Uh, the fire, the lightning, the storm, um, yeah. I think at first this was his original name, was Collector in my opinion, because he looks like he is collecting it into a storm. However, they realized that they were like, they were like, you know, he is really just a conductor, but then they screwed up and left this in. So at least it's slightly been errated. Uh, we did the first two schools there behind you there, Silver Quill and Witherbloom. Check out those videos down below. Uh, leave us a like and subscribe if you enjoy the content here at Franco's Corner. We are doing openings and all sorts of fun stuff uh, all over the place. Now check out the links too because we have TikTok and uh, yeah, some crazy stuff. We're doing some giveaways too, so keep that in mind. If you also notice, you'll see a pile of confetti, which is going to increase because when you open up one of these bad boys, you get free confetti. I'm serious. This is what they say. You may use these punch outs as counters or as victory confetti. Thanks for the victory confetti, wizard site. I wanted to pay this for that. It is much thicker of a box, uh, but this is the only part that matters, is this half and down. Rip open the bottom here. It's slightly perforated. And then just shake it and we'll come on out. If you look on the bottom, it's all this extra space. We didn't even need it. Uh, this will kind of come out. Uh, then the back, of course, talks about Prismari College. You're going to get Octavia, the Living Thesis, Veyron, the Voice of Duality, and Riona, the Fire Dancer. And there wasn't actually another Legendary in the Witherbloom one. Uh, but these two are regular, and only this is in foil. So you only get your regular guy in foil. You get Veyron in foil, and that is it. Then you get your second copy of it. There is no more oversized. You get your tokens, your deck box, and some cards. You get 17 new ones. Um, but, yeah. Look at that. Here is some more confetti for you to punch out. It is red and black. As I said in the other video, I was kind of hoping, even though this is obviously not a card, but it would have been nice if uh, these punch out confetti tokens were at least the colors of the school. Um, so you're going to get nine lovely pieces of confetti. I know how excited you are to have those. Um, and then just kind of pull these out. And then you get this. It is foiled as well. Um, so it'll probably turn into a Pringle at some point. And then we can have a whole can of Pringles. So you get all this extra cardboard. And then you get a pile of confetti. And then you get that that goes there. Cool, exciting, you like that. We like it too. There's Samuel L. Jackson in all his glory. Pop this bad boy open. And inside you get this, which is a filler piece. Don't steal. You know how we do. And then you get this, which is your life counter. This side only goes up to 20. And this side starts at 40 and goes to 21. It has your school. I'm a little meh about this. I feel like they could have done something easier to track. Maybe one side's commander damage, one side was one through 40. I don't know. Maybe have it go up to 50 in case you're playing life gain. And then you get your pamphlet insert. You get to learn how to play commander. And you learn how to play commander in that many rules. That's it. That's all the rules you get. The other side, you get to see who you got. You got Zephi, the Thunder Conductor. You get Octavia, the Living Thesis. You get Rionia, the Fire Dancer. And Veyron, the Voice of Duality. You get one copy of each of these. You get this one in foil. You get him in foil. Uh, yep, so we talked about their school and everything. And then we put this back in the box. And then inside here, you get your deck. Uh, it looks like there's enough space for them to be sleeved because Watsu likes to give us free air. That's okay. All right, so what do we got? We got Zafai, the Thunder Conductor Collector, right? So this is your regular copy of him. It is foiled. Basically, this is extra because your commander is going to sit in your command zone in most cases, right? So, And basically, you can just take him out and make a whole other deck with him or whatever you'd like. Uh, but that's your first one. Then your second foil, your only other foil you get is Veyron, the Voice of Duality, which is pretty cool. I like the card art. The blue and the red is really sweet. So those are your two foils. And then you go into your deck, which has no rhyme or reason or order until the very end when you see tokens. And I really do mean that it has no rhyme or reason. We're going to go through that as soon as the camera learns how to focus. Okay, let's go right into it. Resculpt. 
Storm Kiln Artist. Yeah, that's right. You literally just go from instant to creature. Elemental Masterpiece, and then back to Sorceries. Expressive Iteration, Rutha, Mercurial Artist. Uh, so, of course, she is the student of the school. We get the five students throughout Strixhaven. Letter of Acceptance, and then Prismari Campus. Yeah, so you can see the order is great right through here. Then we've got Study Hall, Brainstorm, Living Lore. Ponder, Serum Visions with the Phyrexian art. Looks like Jinja Texas. Traumatic Visions, Treasure Cruise. So we got a little artifact game going on. Faithless Looting. I'm kind of surprised this wasn't just a Mystical Archive in here, but I, and then again, I also understand. Fiery Fall, Humble Defector. So we're going to get rid of some crap. Mana Geyser, always a good red staple. Seething Songs, so we get some good red mana push here. Crackling Drake, Arcane Signet, Hedron Archive. Is it Signet? So we do get Signets and... Um, the Arcane Signet, the regular dual color Signets, uh, Mindstone, and Soul Rings in the decks. Then you get the Talismans of Creativity. Then you go Blighted Cataract, Command Tower. Go right back to the creatures again. Dazzling Sphinx, Inspiring Refrain, Muse Vortex, Octavia the Living Thesis, Elemental Octopus. So, uh, yeah, you can do some stuff with that. Sly Instigator, Creative Technique, Fiery Encore, Inferno Project, Radiant Performer, Rionia the Fire Dancer, Rousing Refrain, Surge to Victory, Reinterpret, Elementalist's Palette, Aether Gale, Aether Sprouts, Dig Through Time, Diluvian Primordial, love that card, M Metallurgic Summonings, interesting to see that in there, Mind's Desire, Narumea, the Master Wizard, so we do have another uh, legendary creature in there to make a deck out of. Swarm Intelligence, Talran Sky Summoner, really? So we got two more legendaries. Apex of Power, Blasphemous Act, always good. Brass's Bounty for Treasures, Charm Breaker Devils for all the nasty shenanigans. Dual Caster Mage, Erratic Cyclops, another legendary. You get Tali Primal Storm, my favorite because you get that free trigger. And there's our Planeswalker. So, so far, three out of five, you do get a monocolored Planeswalker who may or may not be themed to the deck depending on what is going on. So we have Jaya Ballard, Sunbird's Invocation, Volcanic Vision, Wildfire Devils, Call the Skybreaker, Epic Experiment, Pyromancer's Goggles, and then we go into maybe the lands, <laughs> depending on what they feel like doing. Exotic Orchards, Scavenger Grounds, Shivan Reef, Temple of Epiphany. So you do get a temple in every one, which is good um, to have that scry. You got a Cycling Land, Desert of the Fervent, Desert of the Mindful, Forgotten Cave, and so you got three cycle lands. Is it Boilworks? There's the fourth, Lonely Sandbar, Mage Ring Network, Memorial to Genius, Myriad Landscape, Love This Art, Reliquary Tower, Always Plus, Temple of the False Guard, God is in all of them. Then you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten islands, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mountains. So you have ten and nine there. And then we go into a Thick Boy card. So this is a thick, different foil-styled version of your commander. Let me just punch the camera. That always helps. Take this, put it in the sleeve. Fits in there and snug as a bug in a rug. Put that off to the side. Then you go into your tokens and your explain how to play. You got Drakes. You got some treasures. You got a couple of elementals. You got copy tokens, some constructs, and some elementals. So those are your tokens. I can put those in the back of the box. So when you do need them, they are there and useful, question mark. Uh, so yeah, you do get the two foils, like we said. I think this is going to be a fun deck. Um, really, you get the extra Zephi. So you do got to get two in a way. Um, I think it's going to be a fun deck to play if you like blue-red. Some control aspects, not too much in here really. does not play like normal blue Red, I would say, I say it's more spell casting deck. Um, some good red mana ramp in here. Some, a lot of copying of spells, some treasures, some things like that. So I think this is a good one. And I think it will play differently. and something I might actually enjoy to play. Because I don't tend to play blue. Um, but it is part three of Prismari. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, yeah, check out for videos four and five here soon. They'll be popping up here shortly for Quandrix and Lorehold. Save the best for last, of course. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed these. Uh, yeah, give us a subscribe if you enjoyed the content. We're going to do some box openings as well. We're going to play with our confetti when we're all done. And we hope to see you guys soon. So thank you very much. Come by Karenko's Corner.